absolutely without any doubt it uh, was probably one of the, the most difficult years for me as a person but I think also for the organization uh, because uh, um, in the last 10 months or so we have been working hard to try and get that uh, resolution on YO. Uh, we ultimately got it but it had a serious impact but the kind of uh, um, meetings we had with the people, the kind of uh, discussions we had for us to ultimately come to this, uh, to this agreement took a lot out of, out of lots of people, not only me, most of the people in the organization, the leadership team of the organization, including board members because we also put a subcommittee of the board to help us um, drive this because it was such a big, big issue in the life of, of, of Ijima. Uh, so yes, it was tough. But sometimes you also, when you, when, you, when you perform well, you may forget, you may think you're a superstar. But somehow it does help to stand back and look at uh, what is that uh, is going on, what's not going on, what must I change. So in a way, it did help me to almost face the reality that uh, business is about ups and downs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a kind of a down that we, we wanted, but uh, you do realize that the business is uh, it's about ups and downs. Well, not quite. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, um, if you look at this, this is the worst that can ever happen. So it was not a bailout as such. Mm -hmm. Think about it. We had to write off um, all those, those those monies. If you look at it now, um, where we are is we we have to the shareholders' equity. So uh, the result itself was not a good result, mm -hmm. but it was the right thing for us to do because long term it was important. But there was an alternative. I mean, let's not forget that. The alternative was to litigate. But also what it did help uh, is for me to realize, also to appreciate that uh, at this level, uh, a broader stakeholder management is fundamental. A much broader stakeholder management that maybe we were doing before. Uh, so uh, today I'm much, very, I'm much closer to SARS than I was before because I was working with them. I'm much closer to some of the uh, law firms that we're dealing with, both for us and also for government. I'm much closer to some of government officials because we're dealing with that. So, so just stakeholder management in general, that's important. Has that affected the way we look at, at government? Absolutely not. Government is still an important um, customer of Ujima and we're going we're gonna to continue to work with them. Uh, they are the largest um, um, spenders on ICT products and services, so we're going to have to work with them. But yes, we had to relook really how we work with government. No question about it. Uh, the first thing that we did is uh, um, to look at how we contract with government. That one is important. How we contract with government in line with PFMA. PFMA is unlike any other any other piece of legislation. It does put an onus on US service provider to ensure that government is following its own laws. So we did an internal and external review of the PFMA and changed our contracting model in line with that. Well, what I cannot do, obviously, is to comment whether he used uh, that as his own mouthpiece. But, but what I can say is the following. One, it's a, um, Robert Gumede is quite a, a big figure, not only in, uh, in the IT industry, but in South Africa in general. And for us as a company, it is actually a plus than a negative, right? If to, be, to have association with somebody like that, who is really one of the top entrepreneurs in South Africa, both black and white. That for us, it is good. Yes, there's all these issues that have been mentioned, but if you look at the positives, for me, that's what is good for the company. One is that, uh, I mean, to have uh, a black person who really had a vision of, of building an IT company that goes beyond just reseller of products, really building a services company, that's something that you should be proud of. If you look at uh, how much he invests in his communities, I mean, at, at the moment, we are talking about him investing over 40 million rand to give bursaries to students for them to study across the country. You look at uh, um, the corporate social investment, which doesn't come from Gijima, that comes from Robert himself and Guma into the communities, not only in uh, Guma Nanga, where he comes from, but all over. If you look at uh, um, him now looking at uh, building a university in, the, in that area, it's something that we should be proud of as a, as a, as a country and therefore as a company. I think there are good things that uh, um, we believe the Robert uh, brand, um, association with that brand, 
gives to gives to Dijima. Um, yes, you can talk about the SABC and the and the issues around that, but there are other issues where Robert has won against some of the publications, and that that is a, a part of his personal uh, life that does not quite affect uh, affect Dijima. That has not affected us at all, and uh, personally. Uh, I have not, I'm not even know, I've not even, I'm not even aware of the details, um, so it's something that uh, I cannot even comment on. Yeah, um, look, what, what I'm saying is, uh, uh, as a chairman of the board, and the role he plays as chairman of the board, and the chairman of the board, we are quite happy with the, the input and the, and the support he gives the company. But what he does in his personal capacity is something that uh, left to, to him as a, as, a, as a person, and I'm sure that uh, you can talk to him about that.